Well, folks, welcome to London. Hendrix, come here. We got to London. We made it through the traveling for hours and hours with kiddos. It wasn't that bad. I slept on the floor for a second, but uh, we slept the entire time and then we landed in the airport, woke the kids up, it was a piece of cake. Good job. <laughs> Say cheese. Say, Hendrick, say thank you, Whitney. Can you say thank you, Whitney? So, he said it. Thank you, Whitney. What friend comes up with the idea of making an airplane survival kit? I mean, that's excellent, baby. Okay, Whitney Vandermine, you are my hero. Because you're so saving here. me. And everyone else on the airplane. Yeah. She gave us these little things that are kind of edible. You can like yeah. them on the kids' faces. Okay, so these little doilies. Look at them. Hendrix, let's show her how we use them. Can you put this in here? And so she came up with the idea of putting these inside straws and it's kept it busy for the past 20 minutes. Stella has a little stethoscope around her neck that you can talk quietly into. Say thank you, Whitney. Thank you, Whitney. We love you. We love you. We get to the airport in London and pretty much like one minute after getting off the airplane. <sighs> so we come out and Stella and I are wearing our Swaggies pants, the Swaggies pants that, you know, I sell. And they said, oh, mommy and her baby in their trousers, the matching trousers, oh my goodness, this is the best thing I ever saw. I almost jumped for, like I almost started jumping, I was so excited. I don't know what it was about London that made me I didn't, I didn't know I had this obsession, but every time I saw a red oh. double-decker bus. It was like a little kid seeing ice cream. He was like, red, like Hendrix seeing motorcycles. Cycles! It was, Hendrix was saying cycles. Jared saying red bus. It was kind of ridiculous, but I couldn't help myself. Why? I mean. I don't know. I don't know. I just, those red buses were so rad. London. London. London, baby. You notice I'm on the right side of the car and there's nothing. So, so this is our other Uber driver, second one for today. God. <laughs> <laughs> we flew all night long. I don't know what day it is. Oh, today, Thursday. Thursday, it's Again, Thursday. Thursday, 2.20, the local time. Thursday, it's 2.20 in the afternoon, or for us, 6 a.m., still asleep. Still <laughs> totally asleep. So, we got into London today and didn't have a place to stay. We had zero plans, because it's how we like to do it. We like to just go with it. So, Jared's amazing and found us a hotel we're going to. We're Ubering. All I know is that it is probably time to take a nap. This is real. What you see. We should be asleep right now at home. We're a little jet lagged. Kind of sinking in that we've been traveling for days now. In case you're wondering how we keep track of kids in foreign cities while we're cruising around, it's called it's called a leash. Stella, where's Where's your leash? There it is. And this is how Stella and Hendrix keep track of each other. We figure if we can find one, we can find the other. Beautiful, beautiful cloudy day. Just gray skies, baby. Catch some rain a little later today. It's meant to sprinkle. <laughs> I'm being judged yeah. hardcore. On a leash? Yeah, everyone's looking at me like, you're leashing your kids. Did you mention you don't want them to be part of the uh, child uh, trade and wherever? Say hi, Mickey Mouse. Hi, Mickey Mouse. 
Mickey <laughs> house. Every day. London oh. Bridge is falling down. <laughs> Funny Jerry. Here's the Tower Bridge. I'm always fascinated by this building right here. I mean, it's just such an odd shape for a building to be. Here's the Tower Bridge. The one that we've all seen in movies and everywhere. You can see through there. Ooh, there's the tower. But it's pretty cool. There's so much like old historical stuff out here. England feels like it's like 500,000 years old. Like dinosaurs started after England started. Like it's just uh, ancient feeling, but it's pretty awesome. There's lots of history, lots of cool stuff. We've been riding on the tour bus for the last little while, which has been cool. It's a nice way to not walk everywhere like we've been doing and uh, get to see some cool stuff. What do you think, Stella? Um, so cool. So cool. Hendrix, look at the camera. Say hi, camera. Hi, hi camera. We ended up going to a lot of museums. Oh, the museums. Honestly, I've never been one to really love museums until London. The Natural History Museum, free entry, thought that was cool. Blown away. It was the coolest museum I've ever been to and no air conditioning, so I was sweating about like I am right now. It's pretty hot. It's been really hot. Europe and the UK has not been unhot. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's safe to say, what do you think? British, British Museum, a hit. I mean, I don't even like museums. This place has been off the hook. Both museums we've been to have been awesome. Look There's at Stella. this building though. Just look at it. This says families, come over here. We go over and they gave us a backpack for the kids. All sorts of cute stuff for them to enjoy the museum. So like, Pastel, show them what you have. Got a magnifying glass. That's pretty cool. Those are the coolest, Stella. We have that. Magic. Ole. Brilliant idea if you're going to a museum. Make your own little backpack like this because it works. Okay, British Museum. Super awesome. Tons of like crazy, crazy old stuff in here. Lots of, lots of gold. Just need gold. Hard to focus on this stuff, but My it's... My favorite things over here. We'll show you. This is supposed to have... Right in there, you can't hardly see it. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit on this. Right in the middle. Right... Above the blue jewel. Here, above the blue jewel, is supposed to be the thorn from the crown of thorns on the lord that's pretty intense um apparently the british museum went through a lot of hassle to get that puppy over here but that's pretty cool pretty. look at the kiddos the kiddos have seen so many museums lately that they're just like the most look cultured little library. kids ever here's the library with all these like crazy sculptures just so we were told that the translations all the tra different translations of the bible were going to be here but they said 15 years ago they took it all out, so we're gonna try and go see those at the other museum. Instead, I we really decided we might just Google them, and then we can just read like. Jared loves to be sarcastic. It's so funny. So funny. So funny. <gasps> so just statues and pottery and tapestries galore. This place is off the chain. This right here is called the Bunyan of. Oh, look at that toe. Right foot wearing Greek sandal. Did they, did they wear high heels a lot back then? Just, just to kind of put into perspective how big that is. Oh, there's an arm. There's an arm. That's pretty big. Look, like you can touch it. Oh, I know. It's, it's a bad, it's a bad toe. Big bad toe. This is, this is how international travel goes, by the way. So it's the middle of the day, we're in a nice museum. I'm actually gonna peel off to the visitor center area of the museum and bust out my computer and work for a few minutes and check some trades. That's the reality of traveling and working. It's not just vacation every day. It's the park. There was like 8,000 parks. There were so many parks. 
London's a super crowded city and then there's just huge parks everywhere. And like they play acres. cricket. Yeah, we saw cricket. That was real. Cricket was legit. Here is a game of cricket. Everyone's playing. Everyone's playing some cricket right here. I literally know nothing about cricket and this is amazing to watch. Here's some real life cricket. So what do you think? You think cricket's pretty cool? Yeah. Do your action. Mommy, why, why is it Uh-oh. Oh man, there's Simon. Oh, okay. There's a money shot. Simon, there's a money shot. Simon. It's this guy. Big darn deal. It's, it's, I, I, I feel, I feel left out now. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Mr. Simon, showing us around London, which has been super awesome. Simon, be honest. Kids, scared to death after hanging with our kids? Step up in the right direction. What do you think? Yeah, step up in the right direction. Oh, I, I, I don't know if the camera can tell that. You looked a little bit to the right right before you said that. <laughs> so, there was a subconscious uh, thing that happened. This is Kensington Gardens, I think. Pretty cool in here. So far we've put in maybe like 10 miles of walking. Sit down for a sec. Oh. We almost missed the whole palace. We almost, no, we walked past the palace. You didn't see all this, did you? Well, we, we walked right over there. Stella is just running nonstop. Taking a little pit stop here. Go as far as you can. Gotta feed the duckies. Whoa. Ducks in England love pirate's booty. Hendrix likes them too. He's not really sharing with the ducks. We, we keep handing them to Hendrix to throw to the duckies and he just eats them. Good job, buddy. How, how far I can throw it? Show me. Ow. Oh, that was awesome. I I'm going to break and have him and throw to the ducks. It's a great idea. Adios to London, adios to the UK. We've had a pretty fantastic time being here. Now we are actually getting on a train. Which I am so excited about. I've never actually been on a train. I was under the English Channel, I mean through the English Channel. I swear that's amazing. It's a submarine train. It's gonna be intense. And then we're here at the St. Pancras or St. Kidney train station, but it's actually pretty awesome. So there's these little stinkers ready to go. Good job, Stella. These are really cute kid suitcases that mom and dad actually end up pulling along most of the time, so it's no problem. It's just it's just something else for Hendrix and Stella to fight over. Hendrix, right here. Put the hairspray. Stella, can we have the hairspray? Hendrix and Stella literally love each other to death, but they try to kill each other at least 50% of the time. Maybe a little bit more, but they love each other. Bye, bye to London. We just wanted to say bye London. We've had a very great time. Thank you very much. Mwah. Say bye London. Mwah. So funny, so funny. <laughs> bye. 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 I loved it and I want to go back and thank you Whole Foods for taking great care of us the entire time we were there. Yeah, we really do alive. appreciate you. Oh, it's getting worse. Whole food. <laughs> your, your accent's getting rusty a little bit. It's a, oh, it's a hard one to give up, but no, it was awesome. London was cool. We'll be back there for sure. I think that was a good time.